So drive is a word that you hear often used in connection with the personality of the entrepreneur. And, and for this next entrepreneur, it has a double meaning. Because to get his venture off the ground, he literally had to sell his drive. It was a beautiful, I've seen pictures, 1971 Chevy Camaro that he painstakingly restored over many years. And he sold that vehicle or to leave his job and start this journey, which actually has its origins 20 years ago, and uh, which uh, is a really a fantastic example of what happens when you combine direction and acceleration. Our next team is STAT. Good afternoon, my name is Jason. I'm CEO and co-founder of STAT. I'd like you all to meet my grandpa. As a teenager, I used to walk to his house every day to have lunch. And on one afternoon, I entered the house expecting to find him in the kitchen table reading the newspaper, but he wasn't there. I checked the living room, he wasn't there either. As I rounded the corner and started to walk down the long, dark hall, I noticed his bedroom door was still closed. My heart sank. There I stood frozen, overcome with emotion, and tears running down my face, unable to move. So I retreated to the kitchen to call my mother, looking for the verbal support that I needed to open that door. Verbal support now in my ear, I finally opened the door and found my grandfather lying on the floor, alive, but barely clinging to the life. I frantically hung up the phone, called 911, and 30 minutes later, finally, an ambulance arrived. For those of you who have never requested an ambulance for yourself or for someone you care about, it's like having the wind knocked out of you. All you care about at that point is getting the next breath of air. From this experience and from three other recent tragedies, I decided it was finally time to quit my job, cash in my savings, sell my car, and uh, start STAT. STAT provides a mobile solution that allows any patient, caretaker, or healthcare organization, such as a hospital, to easily and quickly request nearby idle transports. Just as on-demand car services like Uber, Sidecar, and Lyft are reinventing the $6 billion taxi and limousine industry, STAT is going to bring on-demand to the $18 billion medical transport industry. Meet Andrew, one of our customers, and CEO of MedStar here in Philadelphia. More than anything, he wants to grow his business. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything he wants to grow his business, he's tried AdWords, Yellow Pages, and a host of other marketing channels, but it doesn't solve his primary problem. See, his issue is his crews, along with thousands of others, sit idle 35 to 65 percent of the time, on and off throughout the day, in between their transports. Andrew knows that if he can just squeeze in two more runs a day for all 12 of his transports for the entire year, that has a huge impact on his bottom line. Meet Sharon. She's a director of case management, and she's responsible for moving patients to and from the hospital. And this is what her day looks like. <laughs> it actually gets worse than this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any change... On this board, at any point, cascades through that entire schedule, and she's back to square one. Enter STAT. Our, our platform allows idle ambulances, paratransit, and wheelchair vans to connect with patient and caretakers' requests for transports. So the next time Sharon has a delayed or no-show ambulance or a discharge that's come unexpected, she can simply pull out the app, Pick her transport type, set her pickup location, push one button to broadcast that request to all idle ambulances, and then sit back and watch that ambulance arrive turn by turn. And instantly communicate with the driver, the patient, or the paramedic at any time during the transport process, before, during, or after. How's it work? We vet the EMS companies. We pre-qualify the requesters with payment and insurance coverage. We distribute both into this market, and then STAT takes 20%. While $18 billion is spent annually on all forms of medical transport, we're going to initially target non-emergency first, 
which makes up one third of this market. The reason we're doing this is because in non-emergency, the sell cycles are extremely short and the businesses have a clear financial incentive to implement our solution and can do so within two days. And what's even better than this, this market is poised for explosive growth over the next 18 months as recent changes signed into law are now going to drive 50% of emergency calls to those non-emergency transport providers. And when that happens, we're going to be there to take advantage of it. And then we're going to move into emergency so I can make sure that nobody else dies waiting for an ambulance. Our customers are extremely happy. We're generating revenue right now, and we're taking calls here in the city today. We've gone from nothing to revenue in four short months, and it's all because of our incredible team. I've personally product managed and developed IT management software that's run in 30% of every business in the United States. Brian Freeman, our lead developer, has both built and scaled software for SPA War, the Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command. And Dr. Temple, our chief medical officer, has been in and out of EDs as a pediatrician and currently spends some of his time with Doctors Without Borders in Haiti and Africa helping children. And finally, um, Metcalf, he's been a fire chief, a paramedic, and the president of his firefighter union for the tw past 20 plus years. So we are live in Philly, soon to be live in Austin, and with the 750,000 we're raising, we're going to penetrate and expand into Houston, the largest market in the United States. Sorry, losing my mic here. I'm a firm believer that from inspiration or from tragedy can come inspiration. We're stat. Thank you for your time, and please come and see us.